is this world. See, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, but Satan said, Be just, yes, you are my Lord. Bridal qualification, pure Christians. Next subject is this. What is this world? What is this world? I told you this world is the purpose creation school. This world is the school of the purpose of creation. Okay, now, who is the principal? Who is the principal? Principal is Jesus. Principal is Jesus. Now, who is vice principal? Vice principal is Satan. Satan Jesus Jesus gave him limited Power. Jesus gave him, gave Satan a limited power, but always under the, under the permission, under the permission from Jesus. Here, I'll give you one example, Job. Job chapter 1, verses 6, or chapter 1, verse 1. Always, Satan asked Jesus whether he has to, whether he should uh, give a punishment agony or job and Jesus gave him permission uh, with the condition applied. You, yes, you may do so, but under that condition. Even here, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, See, Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Matthew chapter 4 is the story of after the 40 days of fasting, a Holy Spirit guided, Holy Spirit guided Jesus, 30 years old human Jesus, guided Jesus to stand before Satan. Okay? And let Satan tempt the 100% human Jesus. Now, when he was tempted, 30 years old human Jesus told the Satan, Satan, do not, do not tempt your Lord. You see, do not tempt your Lord, your master. Now, Jesus claiming himself okay, to Satan that I am your Lord, although I am 100% human. Okay, don't forget, you Satan, I am your Lord, your master. 
knowing that, acknowledging that Satan disappeared. If Jesus was not the true Lord of Satan, Satan would have said, you, Jesus of Nazareth, you are not my Lord. He would have said that. But Satan said, he just, yes, you are my Lord. Okay? This, is, this kind of story, why Matthew wrote down this story in order to teach us that 100% human Jesus is the true God, true Christ, and even ruling over Satan. He is a ruler of Satan. Okay? He is, a, he is the king of kings. So Satan, I would say, is a vice principal under the principle. Okay? In this 7,000 years, purpose of creation school period, Jesus is principal of the school. And under Jesus, Satan was hired by the principal running around to teach God's people the purpose of creation. So we we are in this world to learn to to learn to be educated the purpose of creation under the leadership of Jesus and vice principal and his followers at when time comes then we will go back to our hometown okay a physical death means we are graduating, okay, the school. Physical death means we are graduating upon the completion of education, okay, we will go back to our hometown. Now, this school here teaches Teachers, it's the bad teachers. Bad teachers are under the Satan as the devils and demons, and Satan children, non Christians. They are all bad teachers. Now, Good teachers. Who are good teachers? Angels. Angels. Not only that, the Word of God. Word of God. God's Word, the Bible. That's all good teachers. For our students. For students like you and me. In this world. Now, a training training method. Training method. God allowing. God allowing. Antichrist. Many Antichrist. Many. Many. Antichrist. A training method is this functional counter horse. Education method. 
dysfunctional counter horse education method. Okay? So in order to, in order to teach us who true Christ is, he, he came up with anti-Christ. Okay? Bad heirs. Antichrist. So he allows Antichrist to learn to teach us true Christ. It's the opposite way. I always say that it's a dirty air. Dirty air. And dirty water. He's allowing these dirty airs and dirty waters. So that we will look for clean air and clean water. That's a human nature. That's a our nature, our weaknesses, human weaknesses. When we receive free Christ, free real Christ, we receive Christ means anointed Savior. We studied it, okay? Anointed Savior. We, God's people, receive anointed Savior at the free, free of charge. At the free of charge, we will not consider valuable we will not consider precious gift. We will not appreciate much when we receive the free gift of true Christ. The, the purpose of sending true Christ is what? To teach us Teach us the purpose of creation. Okay? Now, we even acknowledge Jesus is the principal. However, we will not value much how precious, how appreciation, how much. Uh, uh, thankful to the true Christ whom came to this world. Why? Because we have received the true Christ, true Savior at the free of charge. Free of charge, free gift, grace. Our omniscient God, omni. Sient God. Omniscient God means He knows past, He knows present, He knows future, He knows everything. Omniscient God, He knows the past, He knows the present. He knows what would happen in the future. He foreknew, he foreknew, foreknew. We human will not appreciate Christ. God foreknew future human before creation will not value much the true Christ. Will not value the purpose of creation. That's the important part. Will not value much the purpose of creation. So in order to teach human, God's people, 
the school was predesigned. 7,000 years school was predesigned. Then, as an educational, educational instrument, he allowed Satan and his followers as a bad teachers to the God's student, God's people. Allowing them to, to run around in this world. So, Antichrist is the God's gift to us. Now, when Satan's job is over, you know, at the end of the at the end of this seven thousand years, he will God will put them to the lake of fire. Lake of fire. We've studied that already. Okay? No more usage. His job will be over. Some people will ask, Pastor Huang, why God of love, our God, is, our God is loving God. Loving God. Why? This is a question, write down this question. Why God of love, Christian God, is a loving God, put these Satan and his followers into the lake of fire. Why? Loving God. Because they've done a wonderful job for training God's people. They've done a wonderful job for training God's people. They have contributed to some extent the kingdom of God and teaching educational purpose. So they've done a good job on behalf of God's people. Why you put them into hell? They've done a good job. You have used them to achieve your goal, which where they, they, they have been the instrument for fulfilling your, your purpose. Okay? You are loving, loving God. Why you put them into, you know, lake of fire? Not, a, not only a temporary, but in eternity. That's not fair. Many, even God's children who are in line with humanistic, Perspectives, okay, humanistic perspectives, asking that question. Then, with that questions, Paul answer to that questions. Paul answer to that question is here is Romans nine six to twenty three. That is. The sovereignty issue of sovereignty, sovereignty of God. Paul answered the sovereignty, sober, sovereignty of God. Okay, sovereignty of God. You just read that area. He said that it is God's sovereignty, power. He will do whatever he wants to do. He will do what he wishes to do. Okay? It is my sovereignty power. Some of them, he said, he came up with one example by saying this. It's, it's, 
a parrot. Remember Potter? Potter examples. You see, Potter with his clay, he has his own wish, his own right that he can build, he, he can make that uh, merciful, merciful, mercy, merciful vessel. He can make merciful vessels, which is God's children, okay, who receive the mercy from God, or in his own right, he said that what is the opposite to mercy? Curse. Curse. Yeah? The wrath or curse. He can make the vessel of wrath, God's wrath. So it is a part of his own sovereignty right. This is a very uh, important concept of John Calvin and predestination philosophy, uh, theology people uh, always referring the sovereignty of God. Okay? We humans cannot argue on these issues. Issues such as why God did not Give. Why God did not give mercy on Satan and Satan's children after their hard work for 7,000 years? And we can answer by using this Romans chapter 9, verses 6 to 24, by saying this, it is the sovereignty of God. Okay? Even Paul was asking Jesus, our Jesus, why you make, you have made our people, his, his fellow Jewish people, why you have made our Jewish people spiritually blind, not accepting you? Then he said, in Romans chapter 9, verse 3, he said that, please remember and save my people. Otherwise, you, I, might be, I might go to hell. I might lose my name. I might erase my name in the book of life. That was his argument. Because he was so concerned of his own peoples. Because during the time of that Romans writing time, majority Jewish people did not accept Jesus Christ as the Lord. After Paul's, Paul's diligent ministries among the Jewish people, very few minority Jews uh, accepted the Lord Jesus. Majority Jews just ignored the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that was uh, Paul's dilemma. That's why Paul boldly asking Jesus, Jesus, remember my people. We have done such a wonderful job in the Old Testament times, at least 2,000 years from the time of Abraham to um, 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 until then, okay? 2,000 years time, we have done wonderful job for you. Why you make, you have made my people spiritually blind? That was the argument, okay? At the time, the Holy Spirit, okay, revealed the God's plan. By saying this, the sovereignty of God, in Romans chapter 9, 6 to 23. The sovereignty of God 
It is not your idea. This is your wish, but God has his own sovereignty power and sovereignty plan in dealing with the Jewish people. So I will let you, let you know later. Okay. In the same way, here in dealing with this Satan and his followers, we can explain why God did not give any mercy upon those Satan and Satan children. It is because of the sovereignty power, sovereignty power of God's plan. That we cannot argue against that. Now, in my conclusion here, what is this world? Then this world is, it could be, is purpose of creation school. Also, this world is anti-Christ. And many anti-Christ world. This world is purpose of creation school. And also this world will be fully occupied and controlled by anti-Christ. So many anti-Christ will be prevailing all over during the 7,000 years. Okay? Then, at the end of this year, at the end, at the end of this 7,000 years, they will be all to the lake of fire. And, at the end of the world, then, God, God's children will graduate. Now, see, with regard, with regard to that, since this is a school, okay, this is a school, you look at me here, this is a school, the school has a grading system. It's a grade. It's, it has a grade. Now, how is it in a spiritual meaning here? From the fall of Adam to Noah, this time, uh, I would say this is a uh, uh, kindergarten. Kindergarten. Kindergarten, spiritual kindergarten. Okay, now from Noah to Abraham, it's every thousand years. Okay, this is elementary, elementary school, elementary school. Now from Abraham to David, another thousand years. Up to elementary, what school is it? It's a middle school. Middle school. Now, another thousand years before Jesus, that's a high school. So now we're doing the 4,000 years Old Testament time. The school was developed in this way. Isn't it interesting? Okay. Now, from Jesus to East West Church Division, after high school, what is it? It's a two year college. Two year college. It's a professional school. It's a, some, some call it a junior college. Some people say, in, in America, it's called junior college.
college. Junior college. Two-year college. Huh? Huh? Vocational school. Okay. Professional school or vocational school. It, it, it depends on what country you belong to. Now, from here to second coming of Jesus, we are, this is, we are now here. That is four-year university. We are in the middle of that university period, near the graduating four years university. And Millennium Kingdom is what? It's a graduate school. Master's level and doctor's level. The graduate school. Then school will be closed. Okay? The school will be closed means this time school will be closed. Now here closing school that time full number of Jews enter into the kingdom of God okay, at that moment harvested and also full number of who? Gentiles will be harvested. Then, finished. School will close down. No more, no more time world. No more. Now, let me just say one, one more word. We are now living in this world here. In here. It's very, very important. Why? Because this. I don't have a space, so you just put down here. Because when we raptured, when we raptured here, Would you write down? First, you are you are raptured. Secondly, no no tribulation. You will not you will not go through. You will not go through seven year tribulation. Okay, no seven year tribulation. No such a hardship if you are raptured. Okay? Not only that, thirdly, you will be pride of Jesus. You'll be pride of Jesus. Not only that, in you will be millennium kingdom time, you will be a kings. You will be kings. You will be one of the kings during the millennium kingdom. Okay? Not only that, after that, here, here. You will be eternal kings doing this
Therefore, it is if you want to join that precious uh, uh, position, okay, there are conditions. You should be as pure as possible for the bridal qualifications. Pure Christians. Not only that, you should preach the Gospels. Also, you should deliver many babies, spiritual babies. Not only that, after deliverance, you make them You give them a nutrition, spiritual nutrition, to make them grow. Teaching them, providing them all spiritual nutrition. That's the key requirement for the bridalship of Jesus Christ. So this lecture is always with that Hope in us. Try to teach you all the nutritious information for your sharing. Allowing your disciples to join that precious blessed position as well. Amen. May God bless you. Hope that all of you Uh, join this uh, rapturing Christian group. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. May God bless you. Amen.